Hi there. Yeah, it's great to see you again. Come in, have a seat. Okay, well, I called you in here today to basically um, start going over some of the details for your upcoming trip. Because it's just around the corner, right? July 23rd? Okay, great. So I thought what we'd do is I would just start kind of um, going over all the details that I already have planned for you. And we could kind of see uh, which events you might want to take off the itinerary and which ones you might want to add. Is that all right? Do you have a few minutes today? Wonderful. All right, so um, as we mentioned earlier, that uh, you're going to be taking off for your flight on the 23rd, actually, because the cruise ship will be embarking on the 24th. So we want to make sure you get there in time and don't miss the ship, of course. That would be that would be a bummer. So you're going to take a flight to Barcelona. Uh, that's where you'll be boarding the cruise ship. Yeah, we actually um, upgraded you to first class. Yeah, it, it would actually turn out to be no extra charge. I had a contact with the airline, so yeah, I got you that perk for free. So that was great. You'll you'll actually have time in Barcelona to kind of walk around. Yeah, that's not a problem at all. And we booked you a hotel for that night uh, because, of course, you won't be taking off until the following day on the cruise ship. So. I wanted to make sure you were comfy. It's a, it's a four-star hotel, and it includes breakfast uh, the following morning, the morning of your, of your trip. All right. Okay, so then the second day of your trip, you're actually going to be boarding the cruise ship. So you're going to be checking in. They're going to basically ask for your basic information. So it's going to be, you know, your name, uh, all of your travel um, information that you already provided me and also they're going to need to see your passport so you're going to need to make sure that you get that all taken care of in advance that's right yeah so uh, well yeah you won't need any additional immunizations or anything it's just the Mediterranean so <laughs> you're good with that okay so then, day three, I've actually booked you a complete tour of the cruise liner. So you're going to be able to see all of the facilities that they have for you. You're going to be able to see the different rooms that they have for the various amenities that they're offering on board for you. That's right, they're going to show you the spa, all of the dining areas. I've actually booked you a private tour. So you won't have to deal with, you know, walking with a bunch of other people and kind of all the noise from that. So you'll have a nice quiet tour uh, with, with the tour guide there. And they'll be able to show you any of the rooms that you'd like to see, any of the amenities that they offer. That's right. If, if you go on board and you realize you might want a different amenity, that's fine. We do prefer you book it ahead of time just so that we can guarantee you a spot because, for instance, the spa always books up very fast and I have booked you a couple spa uh, luxury, yeah, a couple spa luxury uh, treatments so you'll be able to do those while you're on board. That's right. Okay, so then uh, day four of the trip, you'll actually be getting one of those spa treatments. You'll be getting a therapeutic massage. That's right, licensed, trained massage uh, therapist. And they'll also be using some aromatherapy oil, so let them know in advance if you're allergic to any particular oil or if you don't like any particular scent. Usually they'll ask you when you get there which one you prefer, but just in case, let them know any of your preferences in advance. Wonderful. That's right, the, the massage will probably cover... Um, It'll be anywhere from a half hour to an hour, depending on what you prefer and what you know time allows. So they'll usually cover your back and your hands, your feet, that sort of thing. So the fifth day of the cruise, you're going to be having a fine dining experience. And I know that you said that you're bringing along a friend who booked their trip separately, correct? 
Okay, well at that point, you'll probably be dining with them then, and uh, yeah, they'll actually describe the menu to you once you get on the ship, so, and you can make, of course, you can make any changes you like. For instance, if they're serving tenderloin and you prefer shrimp, you just let them know. All right. That's right, it's a, it's a full, I believe it's a four or five course meal. I know that it starts with appetizers, of course, and then it moves on to the dessert and the after dinner drinks. Okay, then the sixth day is quite an exciting day. It's actually going to be your first stop on the cruise. So you're going to be touring a seaside Spanish village. And I've, like I said, when you booked the trip, I've actually taken this cruise before and the village is absolutely charming and magnificent. So you're going to love that. You get to stop in at the little bakery there and grab a coffee if you like and grab some souvenirs. It's it's very, I cannot tell you how charming it is. It's, it's a very quaint little village. The seventh day is the second stop of the trip and you're going to be tasting coffee. Yeah, we've actually arranged for a full coffee tasting there in the little cafe they have. And so it's more like a coffee bar, and you're going to be tasting five or six of the varieties that they offer there. Yeah, well, you can also um, switch this out for tapas. If you, if, when you get on the ship, if you decide you might want tapas tasting instead, you can opt for that, or you can do both even. Yeah, well, while you're there, just ask if you can taste a few of their tapas. They do excellent tapas uh, samplings. Okay, and then the third stop is going to be on day number eight. And we're going to give you kind of a break that day from all of the sightseeing. You're going to be able to just lounge on the beach there. They have gorgeous beaches there along the coast of Spain. So you're going to be able to just stop there and relax and listen to the waves roll in and read a book if you like, whatever you, whatever you prefer. Just really kind of relax and unwind. I know this whole trip is geared toward that, but that particular day you're really going to hopefully just focus on you know reflecting on your thoughts and just enjoying the sunshine and the, and the sea okay day number nine is going to be another spa treatment on board the ship and that's going to be a facial mud mask it's absolutely wonderful i actually had this done while i was on the ship and I highly recommend it, yeah. I know that you said you were kind of into the pampering aspect of the trip as well as the sightseeing, so I've tried to include a lot of both things on your itinerary. That's right. Okay, day number 10. It's going to be the fourth stop, and you're actually going to be uh, going through a guided zoo tour in Spain. And I have been to this zoo. It is <laughs> it's absolutely wonderful. They have a whole garden section and I believe I'm trying to remember which animals they had I know that they had a couple different types of tigers they had a Sumatran tiger and uh, they have elephants and monkeys yeah everything you can pretty much think of it's quite an expansive zoo you're gonna you're going to enjoy it okay day number 11 you're going to be actually on board, so it's you're going to be making your way to France. So I have booked you kind of a tour through their confectionery shop that they have there. So a bunch of different sweets, pretty much from around the world. They have some top of the line pastry chefs there. So you're going to be kind of sampling those. And well, yeah, if you have a sweet tooth, then this is je this is definitely the thing for you. So I booked that for you. Day number 12 is going to be the fifth stop of the tour, and you're going to be wine tasting in France. So it's going to be definitely a treat. You're going to visit a, a few different wineries, but there's one winery in particular that I've allotted quite a bit of time for you at because it's just a wonderful winery. I enjoyed it while I was on my cruise, and they offer several different types of Bordeaux and, and different red wines, that sort of thing. Okay. Now, uh, the sixth stop 
I have arranged for you to do clothes shopping at a French boutique. And they have different handbags and I've actually arranged for you to be able to pick one particular item of clothing that you'd like and that's included in the price. And of course there's a price cap on and they'll let you know about that when you get there. But I've yeah, I thought it might be a nice treat for you, and uh, when I was there, I actually became friends with one of the shop owners, and believe it or not, so I've spoken with her, and I've cleared it all, so, well, you know, I like all of my clients to have the best possible experience, so I'll do pretty much whatever it takes <laughs> to make that happen. Okay, the next uh, day 14, you're going to be having a scalp massage on board the luxury spa that they have there. You said you wanted plenty of uh, pampering sessions, so I've included plenty of those for you. Day 15 is your seventh stop of the trip, and you're going to be visiting a perfumery in, in France. And once again, um, I don't have a contact there, but the cruise ship actually allows for you to pick up, pick out one particular perfume that you would like to take with you. Once again, there's a price cap on it. I believe it's a hundred euros, which that's a very, <laughs> that's very good. You're going to be able to pick a wonderful scent for that price. Yeah, what it is is they give you a voucher, so when you get um, off the ship, they hand you the voucher, and you're able to use that at the perfumery there. And of course, you're going to be able to sample all of the scents and pick the one that's right for you, of course. Okay. Day 16, this is going to be another relaxation day because I really wanted for you to just be able to sit back and unwind and kind of reflect upon your trip memories so far. And so you're going to be lounging by the pool that's on board. And they have quite a few different pools. So you can pick whichever one um, you prefer, and that's right, they serve cocktails, and, and again, on this day, if you decide that you kind of don't want to just lounge, that you'd prefer to do something else, you, you can choose to do that. Alright, now the eighth stop on the tour is going to be on day 17, and you're going to tour a historic Italian villa, villa, gosh, <laughs> can't talk today and stay for lunch. So, okay, you know what, let me put that in here because that would be good. So, so you would like to go ahead and have a drink then too. Okay, and of course you want to probably sample this, the Italian wine, right? So, let me just make sure, I, I believe they do serve, you know, beverages there such as wine, but let me just make sure to include that that way we don't forget. Yeah, I'm allowed to put in notes here along the way, and uh, that's right. Okay. So, uh, day 18 is the night stop of your tour, and you're going to be taking a tour through an Italian coastal garden absolutely breathtaking. This was one of my favorite stops on the trip and it was marvelous. I can't speak highly enough of how gorgeous this garden is. So it's going to be a rather lengthy tour but it's nice and quiet. You hear the birds chirping and yeah, you're right by the sea so you can always walk over there, meander over there if you like. Yeah, definitely. Okay, day 19. I've actually arranged for you to visit the onboard aquarium. So your tickets are already purchased. And I went I went ahead and purchased a ticket for your friend as well because I knew that you said that she was going to be coming with you and I wasn't sure if her travel agency would do the same. So they had a deal um, going where you if you bought one ticket you got one half price. So I went ahead and did that for you. Oh no, no extra charge. <laughs> Don't worry about it. They're quite reasonable, uh, reasonably priced anyway, so you're good. Alright, and the day 20 is the 10th stop of your trip. You're going to be olive and cheese tasting in Greece. Yeah, it's marvelous. 
they had their not for their feta cheese, of course, and then the Greek olives with the fresh, you know, olive oil usually drizzled on it on top again, and then, you know, some pesto and different seasonings and spices thrown in there. It's just mouth-watering. <laughs> Even now, just thinking about it, I'm getting hungry. I want a feta cheese salad. Okay. Excuse me, I have a bit of a stuffy nose today. My allergies are going crazy. Okay, the 21st day of the cruise is your 11th and final stop. And you're going to be enjoying a train ride along the Great Coast. Now for this, I actually have a question for you. Did you want to get just the economy class train ticket or did you want to upgrade to the first class? I believe they call it the business class. It's just 10 euros more, and I, uh, which would be about, I think, $13. So did you want to do that? I did want to upgrade. And then the last day, day number 22, you're going to be checking out from the cruise ship and they ask that you complete just a brief guest survey. They'll actually ask you the questions and you just answer them. They're all very basic questions, but, and for doing that, they actually give you a discount voucher for your next trip. So I definitely recommend you do that. I believe it's 25% off your next cruise. So yeah. Well, a after you're done with the cruise, uh, give me a call, let me know how everything went, or you know what, I'll call you in fact, just to follow up and make sure everything went well. And if you did want to go ahead and book your cruise for next year at that time, we could definitely do that. Are you planning on making this a yearly thing? Okay, that's great. I try to take a cruise at least once a year, so well, I, I get a few extra perks because I am an agent, so... Sometimes I there's been years where I've taken three cruises and it's been magnificent. <laughs> okay, so I just need to get kind of your feedback about the itinerary. Are you okay with everything on there? Is there anything you wanted to switch out? You're okay with everything. Okay. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and finalize everything then. And... Uh, send all the arrangements off just to make sure I have it concretely, yeah, I have everything concretely booked and you're good to go. Now, you have everything taken care of with your passport already, correct? Wonderful. Because yeah, that can take a number of weeks unless you expedite the process, but that's more expensive. I always recommend you get that done early. Great. Oh, well, if, if you have any more questions. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, the fine dining that you'll be doing on day five. Yeah, you can actually choose whichever dessert you like, too. If you're going for more of a low calorie or if you want something just totally splurge, you can pretty much throughout the whole cruise, you can customize your experience. So if they're serving a food item that you don't particularly care for or that you may be allergic to, you just let them know. Now, you're not allergic to shellfish or anything, nuts or anything like that, right? So, and once again, any of the uh, excursions that you go on, you will be given a voucher. So for instance, at the zoo, they will be giving you the zoo ticket in advance, so you won't have to pay for anything on the trip. As I said, unless you wanted to get something extra, of course. So for instance, if you're, if you're olive and cheese tasting and you wanted to get more olives than they provide you when you leave, then you would just go ahead and pay for that extra, but they, of course, discount it for you. Pretty much all of the tastings, though, do include a take-home kind of souvenir. So, for instance, the wine tasting, they will let you, um, they will send you off with a bottle of wine. Definitely. Yeah, they kind of want you to take a, take away as much from the trip as possible and sample your their products. So, 
you'll want to come back and buy more or even buy more from their mail order service or their online shops definitely so you'll be getting a bunch of free things along the way trust me I came home with almost a suitcase full of stuff so definitely well all right once again it was wonderful speaking with you and talking with you and uh, I just know you're gonna have a wonderful time on your trip but if you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to let me know. If you want to switch anything out, of course, just give me a call and we can do so. And if you need any help with any of the arrangements, feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email. Great. Okay. Well, you take care and I'll, uh, I'll talk to you soon.